What is up, YouTube? This is the man 047029 coming at you with the first trailer analysis of the new resurrection trailer. We start with this ugly ass zombie and planet Earth and the mystery box. We got Nikolai here, not wearing a space outfit for some reason, but okay. And he's shooting the wave gun, which I will go into detail later. But you get to see what it does right now. Oh, what's going on? What? Now, this has to be in like slow mo. And he just becomes fat and blows up. Four original World at War maps with a new twist. Sheena Numa. Dr. Untutin. Untutin? Farooked. Baruch. And Doris. This guy's saying the name's kind of weird. Moon. Moon! That is what I'm focusing on. Alright, I think you have to buy space helmets before you can go in. If you bought the collector's edition, you're gonna get... Because now he has a space helmet. Actually, I think it's a different person, but you, you get the idea. Free. If you didn't get the collector's edition, you're gonna get these remastered maps, and you're gonna get Moon. This pack is really for the zombie fan. Sort of our season finale, really. Back when we started, we wanted to make sure that we were always escalating from there. That everything got a fresh look and a fresh way to play at every map that we came out with. I realized if we're gonna shoot people up into the air with water, we're gonna need something bigger than that. And what's bigger than that, but... Anti-gravity. Nice, but really shouldn't let zombies use it, because that'll ruin the whole thing. Floating. So we kind of started working on the idea of going to the moon. Alright, looks like a nice shot. I don't think you can come out here. It looks like, oh, like over to the left is all closed area. So, no rape trains. The team really wanted to create with Moon. The oh my god, there's a zombie. Alright, there is the new perk. I have no idea in hell what it does, but it is right there next to the zombie in the blue jacket. It's kind of gray looking, and I mean, the machine looks cool. The icon looks like gray, maybe. But. Bam, right there. It's the culmination of new features that we've introduced since launch in all of our DLCs. Alright, now here again, this is the wave gun, except it's like in half this time. And you can see this two little protruding screw kind of things. So I'm well I'll explain it later. Plus a whole plethora of new gameplay features. This map has almost Alright, this is cool. It looks like a floating around jungle gym kind of thing. Something from every map in the DLCs. Alright, that looks like you can use it as a trap, probably. Can't, probably not something you pay for, but looks like it can be used as a trap. Outdoor space, you have buildings or structures. I think my favorite part of the moon map, in terms of sound design, is the airless environment. It's really cool. Is that what you're gonna say? Because it is. It's gonna be weird, but all right. it significantly changes how the game sounds. Bam. And that's gonna force people to play a different way. We thought originally that it would make it easier. No, it's gonna make it harder. You... Well, you got your death machine, so if things get sticky. Just grab a death machine with the Demzy. Have time to shoot zombies, and actually, quite the opposite is true because everybody's floating. You have no control. So floating is fun, so your... I don't see what the problem is. Really challenging. This one guy just comes in, yo, yo, I'm coming in here, so screw you. I'm gonna just come in here, I'm gonna try to eat this one dude. Ugh, damn zombies. We are trying to tell a story in an action game, which has got a lot of challenges. Like, it really is all about creating an... Alright, this is interesting. The right side is boring, but the left side has advertisements for Speed Cola, the Thunder Gun, the Shrine from Shangri-La, the Pack-a-Punch Machine, Space Ice, uh, I think it's the bomb from, like, Search and Destroy, and a couple of things. I can't really see it too well on the screen. Entirely new fiction, something that is the Teleporter was not in totally Moon. That was one of the old maps. I think they're really something Alright, again, we have the Waffle Effect from the Wave Gun. That our audience loves. This is the most epic. For sure. Unless the waffles in there too. On behalf of Treyarch, I'd like to say thank you to all the fans. Thank you zombies. for making Holy awesome maps. Because... All right. This is a pretty interesting scene. We just got them damn crawlers. Damn crawlers are back. Oh, I hate those crawlers so much. 
you've been so vocal about how much you're enjoying it and how much you want Alright, this so keep... looks like it's gonna be like, it's a section of the map, like, I don't know how much, how far down it goes, but looks pretty intricate. It looks pretty big, but I hope it's also compressed, so there aren't zombie trains or fake trains, whatever. We'll Alright, again, wave gun put together this time. To your right of the purple mist is Quick Revive, so this is the starting room. And again, these these two little guys over here, that's it, they're done. They're about to explode in slow-mo. Why don't the zombies ever eat you? They just, like, slap you. They're, these zombies are bitches. Action will be available on August 23rd on Xbox 360 first. Ah, you know what? More anticipation for us PS3 owners, so... What? Zombie killer and all this. Whoa! What was that? I wasn't expecting anything else. All new maps first on Xbox Live. Let's see that in super slow So it's a crawler waving at us and some weird little symbol thing. So there's a little crawler waving. Ugly. Got a leash on. I, mean, I, I don't know what the hell that's about, but he's got like a little leash on. And he can't go, that's why he's like waving. But, this. Now I've been trying to think. Maybe zombie Call of Duty lineage. Or Call of Duty zombie lineup. Or, I don't know. Anyone want to leave a comment on what they think that might mean? That will be cool, but... Call of Duty Zombie Ligament? Missing Ligament? Maybe the space program for zombies or something? I, I really don't know. But the next thing's more interesting what I've been waiting for. The wave gun. This was like a supposedly leaked picture. It's like a prototype. But it's about the same thing. You got your two guns. Then maybe after you pack a punch them or something it becomes one. Or maybe it'll let you take them apart and use them whatever way you want. Either way, it looks awesome. Can't wait to get it. I'm gonna wait to get it because I got PS3, but you know what? PS3 is better, so it's the price you gotta pay. That's about it. The Man 047029 bringing you the first analysis of this trailer. Peace out.